tandem T-Slim X2 insulin pump continuously delivers insulin to your body through a tube and cannula that you apply under your skin. No more insulin shots. Plus it's a super smart pump packed with technology that will take a lot of work out of your plate. I used this pump for over two years and in this video I'm gonna share with you what else it can do, why I absolutely love it and why I totally hate it. And I'm gonna share a few things that nobody is talking about but I find them super important when choosing an insulin pump. Let's look at some tech specs first. The Tandem T-Slim X2 weighs about 4 ounces or 113 grams and it's about 3 inches long, 2 inches high and 0. Point inches deep which makes it a really sleek pump, much smaller and thinner than any other pump I used before. And that's really satisfying especially if you're coming from a metronic pump like I was two years ago. T-Slim X2 is water resistant up to three feet deep for up to 30 minutes. Now that's not a lot when you compare it to other pumps but I think it's perfectly sufficient for an average user. Now an interesting thing about this pump is that the insulin is not stored in a plastic cartridge but in a bladder system which has a 300 unit capacity. A big advantage of this solution is that Tandem was able to save a lot of space by not using a plastic cartridge and the pump is sleeker but the disadvantage of this system is that filling the cartridge is very tedious. You need to inject the insulin into the bladder through this little hole and if you don't hit exactly the middle of it the insulin will just not go in. And it's all so tiny that if your eyesight is not 100% you might actually struggle with this. And this pump also creates quite a bit of insulin wastage but more about that in a few minutes. The warranty on this pump is 4 years and the customer service is extremely good but I think that's kind of a standard in the insulin pump industry so I don't want to talk about that too much and I want to look at the battery instead. And the battery is another thing where Tandem has saved a lot of space because the T-Slim has a rechargeable battery that you can charge with a USB charger anytime. But again it has its pros and cons. The main pro is that the pump can be smaller and it's more environmental friendly. The battery also lasts very long. From my experience I can go for about four to six days and that's even on days when I'm also using the Bluetooth to read the data from my continuous glucose monitor. And by the way I will talk about the CGM integration a little bit later in this video. But there are a few disadvantages of an integrated rechargeable battery. First it takes about an hour to fully charge and during that time you need to be hooked up with a cord. A USB power bank is definitely an elegant solution here. Some people charge it at work at their desk or in a car when they commute to their work. Some do it while they sleep but I personally don't like charging the the pump in my bed when I sleep because it's kind of uncomfortable. Some people do it when they take a shower but keep in mind that during a shower you will probably be only able to charge 10 to 15 percent of your battery. So if you want to keep your pump alive you probably need to charge every day while taking a shower and that might not even be enough to keep the battery going. By the way to get to the USB slot on the pump to charge your battery you need to open this little plastic cover which is not the highest quality in the world and mine broke about a year after I started using a pump. Another con of the battery is that when you travel and forget your charging cable you're screwed. It's not so easy to find a place where you will buy a charger and a cord that will work with the pump especially if you're in a remote location. With replaceable AA batteries that I had on my Medtronic pump that I was using before I found this a little bit easier because you can get the typical AA batteries pretty much anywhere in the world in every little store. But moving on to the more exciting stuff. The pump has a color touch screen. Everything on the screen looks really modern. The settings are extremely user friendly and it's super easy to navigate. It's just like a phone. The one thing I really like is the home screen button that takes you back to the home screen from anywhere in the menu. This kind of button I was missing on all pumps that I was using before. There are a few things that could be more intuitively placed in the menu but overall the user interface on this pump gets 5 stars. It's excellent. The pump also has a lockable screen. You unlock it by pressing 1, 2, 3 and on top of that you can can secure it with an additional four digit pin 
code. I personally find this an overkill, but you can activate it and choose your own pin code if you need an additional level of security. A few minor things about the design that I don't like. Number one, the talk button that you always need to press first to wake up the pump doesn't have a nice tactile feedback and you have to press it quite strongly to wake up the pump. Now apparently this is a safety feature, but I just don't get why we need to press the top button if we then need to press one, two, three to unlock the pump anyway. Number two, the pump doesn't come with a good belt clip like the Metronic pumps did. And I really miss this one. The only thing Tandem provides is this plastic case that Michelle Lord talked about in one of her videos, but I lost this one, so I can't show you mine. Now, I didn't like that case anyway, because it was a bit too bulky for me. And I, when I wanted to take the pump out of the case, I had to disconnect the infusion set from my body. And that was just too complicated. And to be honest, I don't really want a case. I just needed the belt clip. So I got a cheap metal clip from Amazon, which works really well for me. And I will put a link to it down below. Number three, the pump has a metal frame. So anywhere you go through a metal detector, it will come off at the airport, in a shopping mall and other places as well. Now, I don't mind it. You just need to be prepared to explain in those situations. Number four is this connector on the tubing, which I honestly hate. It looks so medical and it makes your tubing come out of the pocket. And when I wear my pump on a clip, in my jeans pocket, which is my favorite way by the way, I can't put the tubing under my belt to hide it and protect it. Because the connector is quite hard and it would hurt my hip. Now I will stop complaining and I will talk about all the things that you can do with the Tandem T-Slim X2 and why I find it so amazing and so smart. The way Tandem presents all the data on the home screen is excellent. You have everything you need right in front of you. Time, how many percent is left from your battery capacity, how many units of insulin is left in the pump and when you're connected to a CGM, you will also see what your blood sugar value and trend is, as well as the graph for the last three hours which you can easily zoom in and zoom out on. And there are many more exciting things you can do when you are connected to a CGM, which I will talk about a little bit later in this video. What I personally find super helpful is that the pump shows you how much insulin on board you still have, which is the insulin you injected within the last few hours and is still active. The pump has extremely precise insulin dosing. You can tell the pump the exact amount of insulin you want to inject with the precision to 0.01 unit. So you can inject not one unit, but 0.99 units if you want. The pump has a built-in carb to insulin calculator. So once you set up your carb to insulin ratio, you can just tell the pump how many carbs you are planning to eat and it will calculate the amount of insulin you should bolus for you. Now I should quickly explain what the heck bolus is for those of you who don't know. Well, if you're on an insulin pump, you only fill your pump with one kind of insulin, which is typically a rapid acting insulin. The pump will continuously deliver a small pre-programmed amount of background insulin to your body. This background insulin is called basal. And when you're about to eat your meal, you need to tell the pump to give you a little bit extra insulin to cover that meal. And this extra shot of insulin is called bolus. Now what I find really amazing about this pump is that you can have up to six different personal profiles and you can switch between them whenever you want. For each of these six profiles, you can set up completely different basal rates, different insulin to carb ratios and different correction factors at specific times of day. And that's super helpful for women who might have completely different insulin needs when they are on a period versus their normal day. Or for athletes that might have completely different insulin needs on a workout day and on the rest day. And it goes even further with this pump because within each personal profile you can have up to 26 different basal rates periods and the flexibility to set them with a precision to one minute. So for example you can set your basal rate to 0.99 units per hour from 7.29 to 8.31 a.m. if that's how precise you want to be. And I really love that because this gives you the option to fine-tune the insulin dosing to your specific personal needs. Speaking of basal rates, you also have an option to temporarily increase or decrease your basal rate for a given period of time, just like with most other pumps. Now, it might sound like there is a lot I love about this pump, and there is. But don't worry, I have some more things that I don't like that I want to share, and I will get to them in
in just a minute. But before I do that, I want to let you know that I have a Patreon community. All my patrons get direct access to me. They can message me directly 24 seven and I usually respond within a few hours. My patrons also have access to a library of bonus videos. These videos are a bit longer, a bit more personal and look a little bit more behind the scenes what's happening in my world. So if you want to get this VIP treatment, consider signing up for my Patreon. Link is down below and the subscription fee is seven bucks per month. Now, another really great feature of T-Slim X2 is that it gives you the option to set customized side change reminders. We probably all know that we should change that infusion site at least every three days. But let's be honest, how many of you actually do this? With this pump, you can set the site change reminder to a specific time within the next three days. If you prefer to do it at 8.30 p.m., for example, you can set it up exactly to that time. That's great because you will not get any site change reminders in the middle of the night, which was the case with some previous pumps I had, and I found that super annoying. Now, another thing I really like is the option to adjust the sounds and vibrations. I personally like to use the pump in vibrate only mode because I like to keep things private. On some of my previous pumps, I just couldn't disable all kinds of sounds and alerts and I found that super annoying. By the way, in many countries, the pump also comes with T-Connect app, but this app is only good for viewing the data from your pump on your phone. You can't really control the pump from the phone except if you're in the US where you can bolus from your phone using the T-Connect app. You can also use the T-Connect app on your computer where you can wirelessly download the data from your pump to your computer and share it with your medical professional. Now here is what bothers me a little bit about this pump. Tandem placed a lot of focus on safety features and some of you might find that positive but I personally feel that it's a little bit of an overkill and it's at the expense of user's experience. For example, when you want to initiate a bolus, you need to go through a quite long series of steps from waking up the pump and unlocking the screen to clicking through a few confirmation screens where you just need to okay information that you previously entered. I find there are a few too many screens that you have to click through. On the other hand, I quite like the extended bolus feature, which is one of those screens, because you can tell the pump what percentage of the bolus you want to give right away and what percentage of the bolus you want to deliver over a defined period of time. To be fair, there is another option how to bolus, where you can avoid clicking through all the screens, and that's the quick bolus. You can initiate the quick bolus without looking at your pump, using just the top button. But there are some limitations to this, because when you use the quick bolus feature, you cannot use the carb to insulin calculator or the extended bolus function. Another thing I don't like is that the pump takes relatively long to deliver a bolus. If you bolus let's say three units and a few seconds later you reconsider and decide that you actually need four units, you need to wait quite long, probably a couple of minutes, until the initial three units are delivered and only then you can instruct the pump to give you the additional unit. I would love to have the chance to do that right away. Now let's talk about the infusion sets, cannulas and the side change process for a minute. The infusion sets I used are called Autosoft 90. They have a 90 degree Degree soft cannula and come with an inserter. I have absolutely no complaints about these infusion sets, they are great. Well, maybe a little one, that you always have to use the inserter. You cannot enter them manually if you wanted to. Another options you have are Autosoft 30, where the soft cannula is inserted under a 30 degree angle, very soft, which has a variable angle soft cannula, or true steel, which does not use the soft cannula, but an actual needle. Unfortunately, the whole cartridge refill process is quite time consuming and not as straightforward as it was with my Metronic pumps that I used before. I definitely needed to do that several times before I got used to it. And here comes another point where I feel the safety features are just an overkill. And I see this one as a major drawback of this pump. Whenever you refill your cartridge or whenever you run out of battery, the pump will force you to refill the infusion set with at least 10 units of insulin. You don't have to do that with most other pumps. And that sometimes leads to quite a bit of insulin waste. And speaking of insulin waste, you will always have some insulin left in the bladder. The pump is just not designed to be able to use 
all the insulin that's in the bladder. There is always leftover insulin, quite a lot of it actually. From my personal experience, I probably end up not using 15 to 20 percent of my insulin when I'm on this pump. For me it's not an issue because my insulin is fully covered by my insurance, but I can imagine that for people who don't have this luxury and who are in the US for example where the insulin prices are sky high, this might be a major drawback. Hit like if you agree. Of course you could theoretically pull the unused insulin from the cartridge and from the cannula with a syringe and use it again if you need an emergency solution, but keep in mind that the insulin will go bad at some point because insulin expires quite fast when it's not stored in a fridge. Another thing I don't love about the side change process is the fact that it takes a lot of steps and confirmation screens. It's quite time consuming. And by the way, it happened to me a few times that I forgot to confirm the last screen. And when that happens, you need to refill the cannula again. You basically need to start from scratch. And that leads to even more insulin wasted. What's probably the most amazing thing about T-Slim X2 is that it integrates with continuous glucose monitor, specifically with Dexcom G6. And this enables automated insulin delivery based on the glucose data from the CGM. At some point, T-Slim will probably also integrate with Dexcom G7. And if you use Freestyle Libre CGM, that you should know that Tandem and Abbott already announced their partnership in June 2020. And they said they have finalized an agreement to come up with a similar integration. The pump has two algorithms or two features that help you manage your blood glucose depending on the data from your CGM. The first one is called Basal IQ and this one helps you fight low blood sugars. Anytime the pump predicts that in the next 30 minutes your glucose will go too low, it will decrease or completely suspend the basal insulin delivery to avoid hypoglycemia. From my experience it won't always completely avoid it, but it will significantly to lessen the effects of the hypos and it will restart the insulin once it's safe. The second algorithm is called Control IQ and this one not only helps you fight low blood sugars but it also helps you fight high blood sugars. And it does that by increasing your insulin when it predicts that your blood sugar will raise too high. And Control IQ is such an amazing algorithm. It's been a game changer for me. And I have a whole video where I talk about Control IQ in a lot of detail. And I talk about its major pros and cons. The video is right here. So click it and watch it next. I will see you there. Ciao.